just pretty happy to be in the final again. I'm happy also that she's having such a success. I'm in a Grand Slam final, it's, it's unbelievable and I'm super, super happy. In the past it was not easy and some doctors told me you will not do sport anymore. These things makes you stronger and I appreciate it more. I try to kind of um, have the same routine and think about this match as you know before any other match. So uh, I wouldn't say it's 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 different. I'm kind of just more focused on how I should you know play and um, just getting the job done. I was trying to control the emotions and, and uh, think of a positive. It worked for me in the past, so um, I'm trying to uh, trying to do it the same. Obviously she's in the final, so she needs to play really well, and I always knew that she has a great game. To play against Iga, yeah, she's, uh, she's one of the greatest on the clay. She's for number one. She has great touch. She can also speed up the game. She plays with that kind of, I don't know, freedom in her movements. The challenge is big, and uh, I'm up for any challenge, so, so I'm, uh, I would really look forward to, to the match. The roar for Iga Świątek as she comes out in her third Roland Garros final, her fourth Grand Slam final. She has yet to lose a major final. A very good afternoon. I'm Chris Bowers. Alongside me is Lucy Al. Not a final we'd have expected, but lovely contrast in styles. And as long as Mukova gets into this match, it could be a really watchable contest. Absolutely. I mean, as you say, they, they do play different game styles, which always makes it intriguing to, to see whether either player looks to change their tactics or uh, I guess the big thing is Look of her, how she's going to deal with the occasion. It's been some tournament for her. That comeback against Sabalenka saved match points. 5-2 down in the third. Didn't seem to show any signs of nerves at all, but the, the key is for her to try and settle early. Mukova looked very nervous as she came out, but that doesn't mean anything. She's entitled to be. The question is how she plays. And if she's said to herself, it's amazing to get to the final, I can relax, then she might play a really free match. Well, certainly what we've seen all fortnight and some incredible tennis. The umpire is Ava Azdaraki Moore. Right, ladies, after the coin toss, please stay for some photos with them and then also just the two of you over that side, okay? 
Just a couple of reminders about the match. On this court, the shot clock will be on the top of the two scoreboards, but also down there. For your towels, they're just around the court. Iga, you can use the one with the grey, please. Carolina, the orange, all right? And for the ball marks, if I have a doubt, I'll be going myself anyway, but obviously feel free to call me if you want me to check anything. Just please stop the point immediately. Any questions before we start? No? Carolina, would you like to choose? We have the ball or player? Player. Player. Allez. Opa. It's ball. You serve? Okay. All right, some photos, please. Quelques photos, s'il vous plaît. Thank you. And just say, just the two of you now. Venez avec moi. On ne pas là, s'il vous plaît. Just the two of you, please, over there. Thank you. Allez-y, allez-y. Thank you. Well, now the real business begins and they can start hitting tennis balls. And I think this is where a lot of people think that the warm-up is slightly odd and it is in terms of today's sport, but I think this will help Mukova just to relax and get used to the occasion. She's 26 years old from Olmutz in Eastern Czech Republic, now based in Prague. One meter 80 is five foot 11. She's ranked 43, but that's going to go up to either 16 or 10, depending on whether she wins today or not. She's been the revelation of Roland Garros 2023 an all-court player rising up the rankings following a succession of injuries, in particular a seven-month layoff for an abdominal injury that affected her back. And then this time last year, she had to pull out of her third-round match against Amanda Anisimova after damaging her ankle. This is her route to the final. Dropped two sets on the way. And she saved a match point against Rina Sabalenka at 5-2 in the final set. Ended up winning the last five games to knock out the world number two. Her dad is a professional footballer, and that's her coach, Emil Mishka. Her opponent, the defending champion, Iga Sviontek, 22 years old from Warsaw, 1 meter 76 or 5 foot 9 inches. The world number one, the top seed, and number three on this year's form coming into Roland Garros. She's the world number one and retains that position. Having uh, gone around further than Arena Zabalenka. She's won 13 titles, including three Grand Slams, two this year, Doha and Stuttgart. Elsewhere this year, she was the runner-up in Madrid and Dubai, semi-finalist at Indian Wells, quarter-finalist in Rome, and the round of 16 at the Australian Open. She won her first title here. That was the September-October Roland Garros in 2020. She was a doubles runner-up with Bethany Matic Sands in 2021. This is her route through. Not one set dropped. She did save a set point, though, in her semi-final against Beatrice Haddad Meyer. And that's her coach, Thomas Viktorovsky. Certainly uh, done a, a good job with uh, Sviontek. He's been working with her for a, a few years now. It's going to be intriguing to, to see how this match unfolds. Uh, I mean, I, I guess the big question is how Mukova is able to deal with the occasion. I mean, it's quite a step up, isn't it? Stepping onto court, your first ever Grand Slam final. Sviontek, who plays so well in finals, not just Grand Slam finals. I mean, she won 13 titles, only lost four times in a final. As we see their head-to-head, -head. not sure how significant that was. Back in 2019, actually, Sviontek had to qualify through. Mukova had a, a wild card. She was outside the, the top 100 at the time, Sviontek. So certainly a different player now. But I guess always when you have played an opponent, if you've been able to beat them, then you are able to draw confidence from that fact. And the thing is, Mukova has a very good record against top players. Well, she's never lost to a top three player when she's playing the 1-5, lost zero. So, I mean, that is, is significant. She's got the game to beat the top players. Has spent a few more hours on the court, whether that'll be a factor. We did see her at cramp in uh, the final set against Sabalenka. Has had a, a bit of time to recover. I mean, that was certainly a physical match. Had to do a, a lot of running. I mean, the... Uh, the big thing is, is the fact that she 
has been able to stay injury free. I mean, that's the reason why our ranking is where it's at. I mean, Slipped last down year, to 150. Well, even further, last year at the US Open, she was outside the top 100, started the, the year at 150, was still on a protective ranking, so that got her into a number of the, the bigger events. <laughs> but she can play. I mean, such an exciting player to watch. She's got the variety. Big serve will use the forehand. The slice backhand can slow things down and neutralize the play, which I think will be something that she'll look to use. Suyontek is a player that likes to play quickly and uh, you know, she can steamroll through her opponents. Well, the rhythmic clapping just heightens the tension. You could say, well, what's so different about a final in the sense that it's the same court, they walk on the same entrance, there is something different, not just that it's a final, they get flowers, just a tiny little, <laughs> it's different. I mean, it just makes the point, this is, this is the last step. Was your opportunity to win a Grand Slam for the first time, which, you know, is the biggest goal for tennis players. Yes, this is the stage on which history is written. Shiontek won the toss and chose to serve. We're going to have a mixture of sunshine and shade, a fair bit of cloud cover, but it's sunny to start this women's singles final. Shiontek able to generate pace off balls with nothing on them. Seem to have broken her rhythm, that slice backhand. It's a really good job of getting down low, making sure she gets the racket up the back of the ball. Drop shot from Mukova. She's standing inside her baseline to receive serve. I'm trying to take it really early, did well to get hold of it, just jumped out of the strike zone. But the drop shot is something that she's used a lot more than Triontek. It's been successful behind it as well.
nicely done. There just signs in that point that Mukovo starting to relax. She overhit ground strokes on the first two points of this game. Well, that's a great shot, and I think smart going back in behind to the strength of Shiontek, the forehand size, good shape and depth on it. They would have pushed Fiontech back and combination there with that short ball. <laughs> 40 love to 40 30 and now second serve. Will Mukova take this one? Well, she mishit it, but it was almost halfway between the service line and the baseline. That's good intent. Clear statement there. I mean, she's definitely going to go after the ball if she gets to, to look at a second serve. Shanteku has been returning very well. Higher percentages of points one behind both first and second serves return compared to Mukova. Similar in terms of points one behind the first serve, but Mukova ahead. Which one behind her second serve? Hits with a little more pace than Sri Ontek. Mukova just testing out her ball toss. Sun is very high. Mukova's coming up to 20 past three in the afternoon. Mukova, love one. Yeah, Big serving. Yeah, right onto the service line. 165k. Averaging 166 so far through the tournament. I don't think she needed to take that volley. It was a good move forward, something that we have seen. She's got herself to the net and rushed her opponents, but the volley there was either not deep enough or not short enough. Suyontek had a fair amount of time to produce that pass. A great return. Just slightly slower, but perhaps the fact that Mukova had gone there on the opening point, Shiontek was almost waiting for it. Cut the angle off well. A really good return. I think the wind picking up, so that maybe uh, helps Sriontek out because Mukova looked rushed there, mistiming the ball. Not sure Mukova's feet are quite working the way they they need to be. Maybe still a few nerves left. These are break points for Sriontek in the second game of this final. Great returning from Triontek. Did put pressure on Mukovo and we saw her use the slice backhand as well. It's something that she hasn't really hit so far in the tournament. So be aware that she's probably going to need to use it a little bit more given how much Mukovo plays that slice. Big difference between the two, using that shot. 
Svantec to love. This is what Coco Goff went through last year. The enormity of the occasion just stopping her from playing the game that normally comes fairly easily to her. And Fiontek giving nothing away. to get on to that second serve and go big. by the tiniest of margins. Ten minutes played. Shiontek already three love ups. <sighs> Tough start for Mukovern. You just don't have any breathing space, do you? And understandably, she's got to be nervous coming out here. And, and then with the way Shiontek plays so quickly, so aggressively, and as you say, Chris, I mean, she hasn't faltered at all. There's been no freebies from her, so Kovar will be really feeling the pressure at the moment. She must have prepared for that. I mean, Mushka would have said to her, right, OK, it's possible you'll have a slow start. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can talk through it, but until you get out there, it's easier said than done. I mean, that's something where it is an advantage when a player has been there before and, and done that as Sriontek has. The trouble is, Shiontek is so good when it gets to these stages. Merci, mesdames et messieurs. Mukova, love three, first set. striking off both forehand and the backhand side Triontek she looks comfortable with the variety that's getting sent at her I'm reminded not just of last year's final but the Sharapova um, Lucy Safarova final where Safarova just never settled
continuing not to miss a, a first Jan serve Fong. look of it. Struggling behind it, a combination, obviously, you know, that would be put down as a, an error. But Triontek has returned extremely well. So Triontek held her position then. She didn't commit early to one side or the other. Not only an ace, but she was coming in behind it. She was ready to come in and volley. I think once she saw the damage it had done, she made the decision that she was going to follow it. That's oh, lovely, the lob volley. You don't see that many of those. Great play, really well constructed point. Triomte, I mean, she had a play on this. She'll be disappointed that she mistimed it. So quick to get back for the ball in the frame. It's pretty essential for Mukova to hold this point. Ah! That was a good second serve uh, into the body. Really good hold. Important hold, obviously, just to try and get settled in here. And if Mukova can get her returns going, there's no reason why she shouldn't be as much of a threat on the Triontek serve as on her own. Absolutely. Triontek, 3-1. First set. And the deep return with a bit of shape on it allowed Mukova to be able to come in. Not sure if that ball was going to be in or not, but she played it. I think she had to play it. It was, it had some topspin on it, so it could easily have landed on the sideline, and that would have been terrible for her. I mean, just opened her account. Oh, it's long. Shontek now may be feeling a little bit of pressure. I mean, Mukova does move incredibly well around the court. She's got good anticipation. She's already on her way. She knows exactly where that backhand's going to go.
Good rally. Fantastic. Not sure if this backhand was a drop shot or just a, an attempted slice. With a spin on it, actually. Just checking on the court. Shantek did well just to make the adjustments and didn't try and go too big with the backhand. Love 30 to 30 all. Ah. Oh dear, that's a mess. She set that up beautifully. She wasn't missing those against uh, Sabalenka. I mean, she's got to take risks. She's got to take the ball on. And with that, you are going to miss some shots. I think the fact that she was able to get that type of ball from a, a quality return, that's what she's got to take away from it. To Lucy, whether some of these second serves, oh, which hand. kick up quite high, we know Mukova can flatten her forehand. She tends to be hitting with a lot of shape on the return. Could she flatten it out just to try and put Shiontek under more pressure, or does that play into Shiontek's strength? Well, I think she's doing the right thing by playing with a, a little bit more shape and, and flight on the ball. It's then keeping Shiontek back, and then she's going to be looking to try and get forward on the next ball. Just signs that Shiontek is starting to get a little worried about oh the God. depth of these returns. Absolutely, and that one jumping up at her, and she wants to to get onto the ball quickly. It's not always easy if you mistime it with the, the top spin, the way that it moves up off the clay court. Chance to get the break back. No, it went long. She actually mishit the return, but it was a great return. Could sneak forward from her as well, really looking for the opportunity. She's on her way there, but it was a, a great shot from Sriontek. That's dipping down very quickly, moving away from her, just couldn't quite get hold of it.
That's lovely. First time we've seen the backhand down the line. A stroke that's done so much damage for Mukova in her six matches to date. Is the, the combination of that go. return, though, with a bit more shape and then flattening that one out, taking time from Triontek. Their only real option was to just try and slice that back, but the move forward was excellent from Mukova. Brilliant volley. Oh, no. She dropped her racket in disgust at that. If she's doing such a good job keeping Shiontek back, would there be a case for hitting some of these backhands with the two-hander and some topspin just to keep Shiontek at the back of the court? Well, it's the, the, the mix that's going to be key, how she's able to combine the, the flight with the topspin more on the forehand, then flattening the backhand out or using the slice. That is gorgeous. And continuing to work the point really well. Mm. To start to put pressure on you, you're deep behind the baseline and you know your opponent's going to come forward, you've got to try and produce a pretty decent passing shot from that position. Late call, because I think it was very close to the junction of sideline and uh, baseline. Ava Azdarak is going to have a look at it. It's just over two centimetres. Third point for a 4-1 lead. Just it's excellent use of the court by Triontek. And that little scream of, come on, shows you how much was on the line for her in that game. Just the one break, but it's 4-1 Triontek, first set. Is Mukova into it? Definitely, or... I think so. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's a 4-1 set. But uh, again, I mean, Mukova's playing the right way. She's mixing things up as we know she can and taking control of the point, not really allowing Sviontek to get a look at the same ball and, and dominate. However, Sviontek once again has been able to navigate herself through a little bit of pressure there and come out on top, and that's what she does so well. Fending off the pressure, having to defend when she's needed to. And she does do that well. Moves incredibly well around the court. Mukova, 1-4, first set. Well, her two aces have both been out wide in the deuce court. Come on, 
בסדר. continuing to deal with the slice really well. Extra footsteps around the ball to get herself in the right position, using her legs as well to make sure she can get underneath it. I didn't watch Vontek's practice session yesterday, but it wouldn't surprise me if Thomas Viktorovsky had got a practice partner in who was very proficient at the slice and that she'd have been practicing playing off the slice. Definitely. She would have known that that's what she's going to have to deal with today. Good return and going with a heavy shape up to the, the backhand side of Mukova. It's as easy to play the slice off. Yes, the slice hasn't handled the heavy pressure as well as it did against Sabalenka. Point for 5-1. She sets so well for those. Go on, you can see the body weight moving forward, able to get onto that front foot and really commit through the shot, following it in as well. Attempted serve and volley. It's the favoured serve as well, out wide. It's the forehand side, giving it to swing away from Sri Ontek. Well played. Good tennis from both women. <laughs> Quick up to this, Suyante is able to get quite a lot on the board. She's then just moving across following the line of the approach shot. And cut the volley off. Firm wrist in front of the body.
picked her moments well. It's been the case all tournament. Oh, Good disguise and brilliant feel from Mukova. We know how quick Sriontek is off the mark. Second point to hold serve. Narrow the gap to 2-4. Such a good point. The game to get through for Mukova and continuing to really use the court well. clear in terms of what she's trying to do, how she's constructing the point. Merci. Shriantek, 4-2, first set. Two slightly slapdash errors from Mukova. It's tough though, Chris, isn't it? Because you know it's a, it's a fine line. You just put balls in, then Chiantek's probably going to hit a winner. So she knows that it's got to be something on it. The intent's right though. Seen that before the shape on the forehand, the early backhand return. Late decision to come into the net. Mm -hmm. For the right decision, she'd have backed herself to make that volley. She put herself in a, a good position on the court. I've seen that a few times where she's she's seen what her shot's done, how it's affected Triontek, then made the call to get forward. This time she took it on. It's been the goal, just creeping forward there, taking it at the top of the bounce. Hanging on to the ball with the left hand there, keeping control of it. Mm -hmm. 
40 love to 40 30. to change direction, Batman went a little long. We remain by the one break. This happened in the third game. Second game. 5-2. Oh. So nearly a really good match. It's just not quite there yet. To differ, I, I love the way that Mukova is going after. You've got to remember that, you know, it's high risk tennis. She's having to to play aggressive. She's having to take chances. With that, given the the situation and given the opponent on the other side of the court, you're going to make some mistakes. And as I say, it's the right tactics. It's going to be down to the fact whether she can execute a little more effectively. You may be hearing the sounds of metal against metal at the flagstaffs. The flags above the Philippe Chatrier Stadium. Rukova has the new balls with which she will serve at 2-5. Merci. Jump up at her there, Mukova. It's timing it off the frame. Best drop shot. For start, I think Sri Lanka's getting wise to them. And secondly, too deep. It's quick to, to make that first step, Sri Lanka is looking to try and hit over the ball when she sees the drop shot. Lies on her speed to get up to it. Oh, it's long. And that was just the stinging power of that really crisply struck return of serve. Set points for the defending champion. Tech takes the first set. Fascinating set. She takes it 6 2 in 43 minutes. Second set. Shiontek, a set to the good.
It's a lovely volley. It speaks volumes for Shiontek that she got to that ball. Zerbergans. She generally does. Again, it's a sneak forward from Mukova. It's not easy to play a volley around the service line. We create a really good angle off that ball. Still looking to take that re return very early. She's got herself right up the court. She's really trying to take time away from Sriontek, trying to rush her. She made it thanks in part to Sriontek slipping off the miss hit return of serve. Well, the return goes straight into the body of Mukova. Did well just to, to get the ball not quite on the strings but on the racket. And Sriontek not able to do quite enough there. Had a lot of court left open. Oh, what a shame. Such a good point. Physical point as well. I mean, great tennis from both players. And Fanta. in the end, Rukova maybe lost her legs there and just missed timing that forehand. Lost her legs. Well, just didn't have the, the strength, the base there to be able to really commit through that shot. A lot of running in that point. Too many mistakes like that compared to... I, I know what you're saying, Lucy, that she has to go for the risk. I mean, it's difficult. It... But she had to go against uh, Sabalenka, and she didn't make those mistakes as much. It's a different type of ball coming back, and a lot more balls are coming back. She's getting no errors from Sriontek. More from Sabalenka. Excellent use of the full width of the court by the defending champion. I mean, we really are seeing some great exchanges between the two players, a different style of play as well. Triontek has dealt with it all. I think you can't underestimate the pressure that she's fended off. It's Thomas Bach. 
International Olympic Committee. Mukova, love one, second set. She's going up the high part of the net, Shiontek. Very tightly strung to get that kind of bounce. Yeah. She was trying to hit it flat down the line. She's been brought forward a fair amount of times, Shiontek. Well, she was serving out wide to the forehand and coming in behind the serve. Does she do the same thing? Or does she change it up after the let serve? Changed it up, went down the middle, but got involved in another baseline rally. Cheers. Crowd trying to get behind Mukova. This could still become a very good contest, but it could slip away from the Czech early in the second set. Well, as she hit that, the tarpaulin at the back of the court actually blew. I don't think she was or would have been aware of that. And once again, great defence from Triontek, able to put that up high and just quite get in the right position for that overhead. No, she wouldn't have been aware of it. I was wondering whether the wind might have played with that ball in, the, in its flight. Two break points. Yeah, these approach forehands are missing. And a lot of the setups are very good for Mukova, but putting the final one away. I think, again, just highlighting the pressure. She's obviously feeling, knowing who's on the other side of the court. Only six errors from Sriontek so far. Moved well, defended well. She's been able to lot the balls back into play, and then that can force you to to overhit. Feel like you've got to go for more. Sviontek, two love, second set. Yeah. 
That's a lovely shot. Lukova taking a little bit off the forehand. It's great awareness, though, from Sriontek. Didn't try and go for as much pace off that backhand, just extending right through it, going back in behind Mukova. Smart tennis. That was a very late call. This might have hit the line. Shiontek sending the umpire back. Oh, I think I she's think accepted she, it. Yeah, she has. Mukova just pointing at it. Once again, impressive from Triontech. The, the change of pace hasn't disrupted her rhythm at all. Slice backhand hasn't caused her the type of problems Mukova's other opponents have found. Second serve. It's been the goal. Pens. Overly successful, but continuing to take the ball on, take it early. The timing. Spot on there, Mukova. The coach just applauding that. Karamkans. Well, it's all one-way traffic at the moment. Sure. That's partly because Sviontek is the supreme player on clay. Three love, second set. And it's repeated the first set in the sense that Sviontek won the first three games. But at that stage, Mukova looked to have more confidence in her ground strokes than she does at the moment. And I guess when you come out, you've got a, a clear strategy, a plan, and... You know, she's continuing to go after it, but it hasn't worked up against someone like Sriontek. As I say, I mean, four unforced errors in the first set. There's just one in this set, so you're not actually getting anything for free. So every single point you've got to work hard for. And it can then start to, to get into your head. You start to maybe doubt yourself. You maybe think you've got to put the ball in a different place. You've got to go for more. 
hence the errors which we are starting to, to see from Mukova. Merci. Merci, 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 Les jouets sont prêts. Well, it's probably a battle for respectability of the scoreline now for Carolina Mukova. She still has time to get into this and win it. It's only one break in the second serve. She has to regain her confidence at this stage. Set down, love three in the second. Interesting move, but her feet went in the right position for that volley. It's a good response, though, from Triontek using the slice backhand. Different type of ball coming at Mukova. Also the first serve, which was so good at the start of the match. And less reliable now. Better. Good first serve, well placed, short return. Contents. Hasn't had too many of those. Swintek has returned well. Foster is now starting to come a little quicker in the point. Yeah, she caught the corner. She's not been able to win too many of the baseline exchanges. Right in the corner there, and it has to be that good to get it past three on tech. This is a very important point for Mukova. That's nice. 
Oh, that was, yeah, it was called wide by the umpire, line umpire. And the umpire came, overruled immediately, and Chiontex accepted it. <laughs> that would be so demoralising if that had been called wide. Yeah. But it was called wide, but it had been given wide. Well, if it had been wide, a good game for Mukova. A boost of confidence. Long. Interesting. Excellent play by Shiontek, but good defending by Mukova. Fourteen points that are, have gone over nine shots. That one of them. It's only won four of those longer exchanges. More purposeful by Mukova. That's a great shot. I mean, look at the, the flight on that. It's right into the corner. She can then get on to the next ball and rush three on tech. And go back in behind with that passing shot, which has actually been effective, but catching that backhand late. Too good. James Love 30 to 30 all. Mukova cleaned the baseline of Shiontek. Shiontek just wide. And here is a break point. Really good depth there and causing Shiontek to mistime her backhand. Second break point. She's made it. That is the Mukova that beats Sabalenka. And if she is back in this match, then so is Mukova. But back on serves. Shiontek leading 3 2. 
Courage Isabelle. Look at depth once more from Mukova. Looking to be really aggressive, good pace on those forehands and took her chance on that last one. See, I totally accept what you say, that Sviontek is playing a much better base court, baseline game than Zabalenka did. But there's, there was a phase in the match where I just don't think Mukova trusted her shots. And that last game and a half, she did. It's going to be interesting stages here because it looked as if it was going to start to go quite quickly the way of Sviontek. Big couple of games for Mukova. Merci, mesdames et messieurs. Les joueurs sont prêts. Mukova, two, three, second set. A better job on the, the overhead, but anticipated by Sriontek. Just another question and full stretch there. Mukova just able to try and get the ball in the middle of the strings. Good tennis. Turns on. It's big hitting from both players. Mukova going all out, particularly off the forehand wing. Depth again, just doing the damage there. So important against Sriontek. Many of those. Merci. S'il vous plaît. Excellent placement of the serve. Such smooth rhythm, able to generate good pace, 176k that serve.
It's a different player. And we have a match. She talks about her fighting spirit. Certainly saw that in the match against Sabalenka. The comeback that she made in the third that just didn't look as if it was on. And similarly in this match, got herself right back into this set. She on tech three all. Yeah, it didn't come off the middle of the racket. Interesting, just as she's about to serve there, Shiontek looked up at the aircraft that was making such a noise. Muka was swinging freely, just missing the target. Yeah, well played. Well, Shiontek stops the run of three games for Mukova. And she leads 4-3, second set. A good game from Shiontek. I know the, the errors from Mukova probably help, but... Uh, Again, Mukova aware that she's she's got to take risks. I mean, it's interesting. Triontek, just eight unforced errors, just nine winners. Generally, she's a player that play aggressive tennis and hit a lot of winners herself. There were 19 against Goff, 25 against Haddad Maya. It's been a different type of match for her. It's still shown that she can deal with whatever's thrown at her. Gilles Moreton, president of the French Tennis Federation, former tournament director the ATP event in Lyon. Mukova, 3-4, second set.
played. Chance of the ball striking once more. Good use of the court. Generally, where she knows she has to go up the line off either side to to try and get the ball past Triontek or draw some kind of error from her. She's had a number that have dropped back her own side, so perhaps she was due one of those. Hot swarm in Triontek there, just sliding into that backhand. It was a, an awkward ball to deal with. Some numbers when coming forward. Second set, Mukova. Harder shot than it looks off the body. It's slower second serve that time from Mukova. At the time to hit that winner. Uh, finally, she puts a smash away. I was expecting another lob because she's missed a couple of smashes. It's down low for that first volley. Really good movement. Strong with the legs. Dynamic to get up and get enough work on the smash. I'm sure it was a winner. Still a point to level at four games all. Right on her 25 seconds, then. Don't think there's any danger of being called for a time violation, but she's got to be a little careful. That is a gift from Shiontek. A very welcome one for Mukova. I say it's a gift. I mean, I suppose that reflects just how few errors have come off the Shiontek bracket. Been very few. Stats say nine overall. Four of those in the opening set. I just hadn't realised it was new balls to change her racket. Sixteen games played, six-two first set to Shiontek. Four games all in the second.
Sarah Vance. That's what it feels. It, it took a bit of a, a dodgy bounce that jumped up at her, caused her to miss. That's loose. That's all. Yeah, not happy. It's already a longer final than last year's was. And Goff got just th four games. I can see those types of reactions from Sri on Tech, who's taking a, a bit more time. Mixes of Iga and Caro. Clever shot by Siontek. Yeah, it really was. She launched it up high. A great yeah, pick up from Rukova with the speed as well. But the fact she went up so high, it's tough to take that out of the air. And Rukova just couldn't get it. Did she go for too much? Well, she just needed to get round the outside of a bit more to of the ball a bit more to, to get that safety too flat 1530 <laughs> I like the way Emil Mishka has reacted. The body language he gives off, it's sort of very calm. He never gets too excited when she does well or too down when he, she's doing badly. That's important, isn't it? People around you, a calm character, a self Mukova. Four all, 30 all, second set. Good body serve, but it was well struck, the return. Moved around it really well, Mukova. Point to lead 5-4 for the Czech. Let me say consequences. Say it again. Second serve on break point. Goodness. We don't often see that from Iga Sviantek. 
She's yet to drop a set, but she's in danger of doing so now. Mukova will serve for the second set at 5-4. First double fault for Triontek, and it wasn't a good game at all. A couple of unforced errors in there as well. Saw the reaction up to her box. Starting to feel the pressure, which is totally understandable. I mean, it's something that we maybe take for granted with Triontek, how well she is able to stand up to the pressure in big moments. I think the fact that Mukova is just continue to play aggressive tennis and go after the ball starting to perhaps take its toll it's it's paying off as as well i mean it wasn't too long ago it really did look as if this final was only going to go to one winner different story now well, six two three love Well, Mukova looked down and out at 2 6, love 3, but she's serving now to take this final into a final set. 5 4. Well, for they down the line back end. Somebody walking along the side of the court. It's an official. It's one of the staff charged with making sure that people are in their seats and he's holding it up play. People expected that slice to drift Seven wide, and it didn't. It caught the line. Oh, the missed backhand, but it's the, the right shot. Interesting. Shiontek has handled the slice so well, except when she answered with a slice. Well, she's done it a few times, actually. I and mean, overall in this match, hasn't been that as effective for Mukova because Shiontek's done a good job with it, so she actually hasn't played quite as many. Certainly that looked a little tight from Shiontek. Fifteen thirty.
Frame that one. It's kind of all the tension that both players must be feeling right now. Points for five all. Fiontech breaks back. And it occurs to me, Lucy, we haven't seen a drop shot from uh, Mukova for a long time. I think, aware of how well Fiontech moves around the court, she's actually done a, a good job overall picking those up. Again, as you often see, Fiontech. Playing it a better game that time. Schwerentek, five all. Let's premier service. Some work on that forehand cross court from Sriontek, pushing Ukova into defence. Yeah, she's made it. Such good use of the court once more and the combination of the, the slice and then the power with the forehand.
under pressure again here, Sri on Tech. Some pace on the serve, but... A very flat return. Again. Oh, and the error from Triontic, quite as free on that backhand. Triontic at 15.40. It's very loose by Triontic. The nerves are getting to her. It means that Mukova will serve for a second time to take this match into a final set. 6-5. It wasn't the, the best service game from Mukova, the previous one. She got another chance to try and close it out. Forced errors from both players. Very few in the, the opening set from Sriontek, and the majority of the 10 in this set have come in the second part of the set. So, what she'd been taking there in that uh, tube? <laughs> Electrolytes or? The gel, yeah. The gel. A gel, the energy gel. Oh, it's a, a mix of. Small amount of carbs, mainly the, the electrolytes, just keep the, the energy levels up, the sugar levels up, as well with the drinks as well, the electrolytes in there. Merci, Mukova serving for a second time to take the second set. 6 5. Pressure from the Sri on Tech. Through that backhand. Again, a, a reminder, I mean, she's never had to go to three in her slam finals. The closest she's had is a tie break, the second set. The US Open v. Jabert. Well, she'll need at least a tie break here if she's not going to three. Double fault. I don't think she served an in, a single double in the entire Sabalenka match. If she did, it would have been one. Love 30. No double faults, Chris, in that match against Savalenka. Yeah. Six aces. <laughs> Given the way she served, to be honest, the fact that that is just a, a first double fault, pretty impressive. She's been going after both the first and the second. Third ace, but the first one in the advantage court. But they've all gone out wide.
s'il vous plaît. This is most uncharacteristic of Shiontek. Well, she saved a set point in the tiebreak against Beatrice Hadash Maya in the last round. Having been a set and three love up, she now faces a set point in the final. Merci. Decent first serve. Decent return. Yeah, it was. Well controlled. She could easily have gone for too much. Very calmly done. Good intent as well Come with the us. serve. It's a great approach shot, and here just puts that back behind Triontek. Excellent control on the ball and focus as well from Mukova. Quote from Roland Garros around the stadium is victory belongs to the most tenacious. Mukova is being very tenacious here, and she has a second set point. Completely shanked one of those defensive forehands and they landed in. We have to credit Chiontek, a lot of pressure on her, and she found the spot every time. Absolutely. I mean, it was great defence from Mukova. It's the, uh, the shanked forehand. Trying to keep herself in play with that high ball, but didn't quite control it. on the ground but that backhand was deep enough that Sviantec couldn't get it I think she needs to dust off her hand unbelievable point I mean great coverage at the net but also from Sviantec the fact that she was able to dig it out but as you say I mean full stretch there just getting it enough depth on that last volley it needed to otherwise it would have been put back in the court what a point she seemed absolutely cr cramped by nerves at the beginning she's grown into this match Mukova and after that dramatic point she has a third set point in this second set It's long. We're going the distance. 
What a fascinating final we have now. It's a final set in store. The 2023 Roland Garros Women's Singles Championship comes down to this one set shootout. Turn right on the baseline. Four of the 17 finals Triontex played have gone the distance. She only actually won one of them. Didn't need to hit that at full strength, so he just guided it. Shonji oh, again brought forward, she was trying to cover the line. Cover clear in terms of where she was going to put that palm, passing shot. This is so unlike Triontek. Going up to Thomas Viktorovsky while she's still allowed to hear from him because she's at that end of the court. Well, asking about her, her backhand, what she should do. I mean, it looked as if he's signaling, keep looking to hit over it, keep looking to maybe try and push forward as well. But I can see this from Triontek. Looking very panicked at the moment. Mukova, who's been behind for most of this match, is now ahead. One love with a break, final set. Now she's starting to hit the lines. Jansen. I've seen this play a number of times. Serving forehand and... Defensive slice from uh, Sriontek gives her a comfortable volley and she looks calmer with that execution. On a run here.
Wahnsinn. Playing with real freedom now, Mukova. Another one. Well, she's now won nine of the last 11 games. Well, it was a similar story the match against Sabalenka from 2-5 down. She actually won 20 of the last 24 points. And she's never lost to a top three player. And she's put Shiontek in territory where she's never been before as well. Shiontek, love two, final set. Let's... That's point of the set for Sriontek. Almost playing with her. She's got the hand oh, skills to be able to do it. I mean, in anticipation, you would have thought that Chiontek would have done more. It's in the, the best drop shot. It did have a lot of spin on it, but sent it straight back to Mukova. She anticipated where that forehand was going. Drop shot. First one for a while from Mukova. Clever defensive shot by Fiontech to throw up the very high lob. And I think Mukova was smart to let that bounce. Good slider serve from Shiontek. She's having to find different tools in her toolbox. She's still a breakdown, but in touch. Mukova leading 2-1, final set. This is the final serve. Comes around the side of the ball here. She's barely used that serve. Could work on it. Could need it away from Mukova. Out of that strike zone. Just managed to settle herself down because there was definitely quite a bit of panic. We lost that second set.
numbers are overall and it was a different story earlier in the match. Sviontek winning pretty much all of the, the longer exchanges. Shorter points. Mukova still with the break, two one, final set. Played. <laughs> Nothing Mukova did wrong here. It was a great pass, not a lot of room there. Mukova having to position herself to try and cover both options. Fortunate for Shiontek. I think that changed direction as well off the net cord. Yes, Mukva was covering this. Yeah, she was expecting the pass once more and she would have got that volley. I mean, that's tough luck for her. Jumps up the top of the net. I mean, it's really difficult to try and adjust. And but its alignment changed as well because she, was, she would have been there, I think, even off the top of the net. Always amazes me that people, tennis players, get a round of applause for a bit of hand eye coordination. If they hadn't got that, I don't think they'd be here. Good catch. Yes. <laughs> Long. Such a good point, and Triontek has got back to her game. Well, and more, she's starting to be more aggressive and, and going up the line more as well to take a bit of time away from Mukova, stop her being able to control a lot of the points. It's good tennis from Triontek. Points for two all. Should she have served and volleyed more often, perhaps? I mean, not easy on clay, is it? I think I'd start using it a little more, certainly. Played very well there.
Sri Lanka breaks back. Look, a couple of games from Sri Lanka. Fiontech to all, final set. John Look of us starting to to feel the physical effects of this match. Shaking her legs out, stretching out after that point. Oh, well played. That wasn't a drop shot, that was a short slice. No signs of Triontech feeling any physical issues. Still as sharp and fast as ever around the court. Quick up to this improvised well. That's an easy shot to deal with. Run of points for Sviontek. And these are three game points for a third successive game. The defending champion. Gets back in front. 3 2, she leads. Final set. Fascinating. It is. Going to be uh, an interesting couple of games because it's certainly feeling it. Didn't look quite as sharp. And Sriontek, who is not only just regrouped mentally, but also in terms of. The way she's going after the ball, starting to be more aggressive, try and take this into her own hands, and it, it certainly paid off the last three games. Polish flag uh, to encourage Iga Świątek. It's Mukova serving 2-3, final set with the new balls. And you see this, I don't think this is right. I really don't. And I know it's a small point. I don't see why players need to change their rackets, but if they wish to, fine, as long as it's within the time. But they should not have extra time because they've lost track of the score. I mean, Mukova did do it once in this match as well. I guess one all. Two, three.
Yes, and that ball flew off the strings of Chirontek's racket. Hitting from uh, Triante. He made a couple of errors. Did actually struggle last time when there were new balls. Suddenly got hold of that last forehand. That was loose. Second serve it was into the body, but normally bank on Shiontek to make that, maybe with some pace. Points for three all. Two hours, 22 minutes, and this final remains in the balance. No one can claim they can't have had their money's worth for the entertainment, and there's still the men's doubles final to come. Yeah. It was over two hours, Suyontek's semi-final against Hadaj Meyer, and over three hours for Mukova to beat Sabalenka. Shiontek, three all, final set. Breathing from Mukova. Is that nerves or because there may be some cramping? I, think, I mean, it's been physical, hasn't it? As, as well as the mental side, all that she's gone through, the fight back.
0.30. You have to wonder whether Shriontek's feeling it as well. She's flexing out her arm after that serve. Yeah. State double fault overall. Right on the uh, 25 seconds, then. May have slightly rushed that serve. Love 30 second serve. Well played. Well, it's been a long time. She's used the drop shot very sparingly since the start of the second set. Trans that was set up so well. well I followed covered. it in. Yeah, that's so important. The pick off the dig from Trion Tech. Such a good aggressive game from Mukova. And she moves ahead by a break. Two service games and the title will be hers. Easier said than done, but she leads 4-3. Sviontek looking rather rattled at the end of that game. Well, she's just not been able to shake Mukova off, has she? This is the final point. Keep going back in behind Triontek. I guess she stopped using the drop shot, Chris, because Triontek was doing a good job of being able to pick them up. Uh, eight in the first set, four in the second. The fact that she hasn't used it too often for a while might now start to become her advantage. Surprise element. Well, we had a Czech champion two years ago when Barbara Krajikova, unseeded, came through the draw, but she was playing a first-time Grand Slam finalist. The task is tougher for Mukova because Shriontek has three major titles to her name and has never lost a major final. But she's in danger of doing that now. Mukova serving at four games to three. Yes, she's made it. Zero chance.
such great hitting. Six strokes of the highest quality. Zero Parker. Triantec's seventh winner in this set. There are only five in the first set, five in the second set, so she's definitely trying to look to be more aggressive. I think aware that if she doesn't take the ball on, that Mukova certainly will. Two and a half hours played. Points for four all. Don't take up too many options. Well, I think she was almost waiting for Mukova to commit. <laughs> She's quick off the mark. And there wasn't actually much room there. Mukova was hovering around that side of the court. Thirty forty. She was coming in behind the serve as well. Didn't need to because it was an ace. Six aces now. Yeah, third ace in this set. She's made it. Good volley. Definitely looking to get forward a little more on her terms. Sriontek. She should just control that volley. Thirty-four. 
third break point for four all. never even reached the net and it happened after the backhand went down the line shot she hasn't used that much and we're all square yeah the cry after I'm sure if it was about the decision or the execution of that attempted drop shot Merci. Shiontek for all final set. Shiontek oh. looking down, but I'm pretty sure that ball cleaned the line. Well, it was certainly in. No call. It's a great return. Change of pace. And yeah. Back in behind Triontek as well. We're a little off balance. And... Oh, the chance, another opening perhaps. Well, the last four games have all been breaks of serve. Yeah. Why she's well number one. Absolutely not looking to play safe at all. 151 kilometers an hour, that forehand. It's big. I think we were saying Rude was hitting big last night, 160 plus. That's a very big forehand from Shiontek. Oh, she's overdone it. Well, she held her ground. Well, she anticipated once more to see where Shiontek was going to go. More than a play on this. One set all, four games all, 30 all. In the women's singles final. Heavily feathered serve. The sound of the ball off the strings was 
almost side on. Break point for a fifth successive break, but this would leave Mukova serving for the title. And once again, it's down to the aggressive play of Triontek. to be able to fend off that pressure. Point for 5 4 for Shiontek. Yeah, it's two slightly weak forehands from Karolina Mukova. And the world number one and top seed is a game away from defending her title 5 4. Feels that reputation sometimes come into play here. I mean, understandable. Credit again to Triontek, though, because she stayed aggressive. She's looked to, to try, try and take things into her own hands. And it's been such an intriguing match. It's had a bit of everything. I guess what we wanted ah, to see, she on tech yeah, tested, it's certainly been the case. Well, please. Well, the pressure is right back on Karolina Mukova now. She is serving to stay in this final. Let's see. Four, five. Third set. These lobs are not working for Mukova. That was real intent from Siontek. It was a great return. He was fended back by Mukova. Siontek asking the question. See, look left. been such a, a dangerous shot, the forehand up the line from Mukova. So I'm not able to get any cover on the ball and keep it in. Yeah, the forehand is breaking down a little bit for the check now. Shiontek, two points from victory.
Well, while her first serves, she could still serve herself out of trouble. Oh, she's done that before. The forehand again. A clever return by Shiontek, though. Chance Garant. Silver Blue. Championship point for the world number one. Shviontek asserts her position as the dominant female competitor of this generation. Shame it had to end on a double fault, but you could see what it means to her. And she had to work really hard for that. She defends her title. It's a third Roland Garros title, a fourth Grand Slam singles title. And she remains the woman to beat. Lucielle. Well, I can see exactly what it meant to her. So I'm sure she's going up to, to meet her team. I mean, it ended up being quite an incredible match. It looked as if Shiontek was going to do what she normally does and, and win it in two pretty comfortable sets. But Mukova fought back, as she has done all tournament, particularly in that semi-final, and well, she wasn't far away. I mean, showing the... Uh, the fight that she's got Triontek because she hadn't been there before. And these embraces are all about the payback for the time you put in away from the cameras, the work that's put in at godforsaken hours of the day so that you're in decent shape for a two hour, 46 minute Grand Slam final. Absolutely, and there with their family. I mean, I think as well because you know, time and time again, she's stepped up and been able to produce in the, the biggest moments. You know, we presume that, you know, it's something that she just takes in her stride, but the pressure that she's able to deal with and, and fend off shouldn't be taken lightly. I mean, it is such a, a tough thing to do as a, a player. You'd, world number one, she could have lost that spot. Defending champion as well. Never had to do it in, in three sets before at a, a slam. Uh, quite incredible. Yes, it's a shame it had to end like this, especially as Mukova's serve has been so good throughout the tournament. Chiontek is back, bouncing around the court. She ran through the door a few seconds ago like a child on Christmas Day. Just the relief now. I mean, the, the toll it must take to have to keep stepping up.
say this time. Thank you, Paris. Surreal. Finaliste du Simple Dame, Roland Garros 2023. C'était sa première finale en Grand Runner up. Her first time in the final of a Grand Slam singles tournament, Karolina Mukova. Vainqueur du Simple Dame Roland Garros 2023. Elle obtient son quatrième titre en Grand Chelem, le troisième à Roland Garros, Iga Chiantek. Champion and winner of her fourth Grand Slam singles title, Iga Chiantek. trophy very hard. It shows you what it means to her. And maybe she can celebrate without the lid. Mesdames, Messieurs, si vous n'êtes pas de vous, merci de vous lever pour écouter l'hymne national en honneur de la gagnante, l'hymne national de la Pologne. Marc Marina asks everyone to stand for the national anthem of Poland.